Well, that wildfire smoke continues to cast a haze across the high desert. It's not just hurting the air quality outside. Many folks say smoke's now entering their homes. Max Goldwasser joins us with details. Max, you spoke to a man in Bend who found a creative way to minimize the damage. Yeah, I did, Lee, and he's not the only one. In fact, he says it's important to have some sort of system to keep the air clean in your home because even if you can't see it or smell it, the smoke is probably still there and it could be harmful. It's the story of summer once again. A dense blanket of smoke covering Central Oregon off and on for weeks. Still, that has yet to stop some people from walking around, biking, or even floating the Deschutes River. Daniel Frankel of Southwest Bend is not one of those people. We love going on runs and walks every single morning, um, but we haven't even been leaving the house at all. That's been the reality for Frankel and his pregnant wife over the last week. I'm going a little stir crazy in here. Aside from grabbing groceries, the doors have stayed closed and the windows sealed tight, but that was not getting the job done. This is the kind of the contraption I came up with. Just thought, well, why don't we just stick a fan right in front of the filter and then this is the easiest way that we can start filtering the house. And after just three days, the results tell quite a story. You can just see how dramatic um, a clean filter is and then how dirty that gets. And again, you have to assume that this is your, these are your lungs right here and that's what's going to be happening. Um, even if you have a really good house that seals everything out. But Frankel, who works from home, took it one step further. A few years ago, he invented a robotic door opener to conveniently allow his dogs to get in and out of the house. That small project has now evolved into this, a 3D printed system which can automatically open and close a window based on the air quality inside and outside his home. That's what it's doing. It's reading this number right here, the 62. Then it's reading an outside sensor, which is at 170. And it's just doing a quick comparison. Is it is the air better in here or is it out there? And since it's much worse out there, it will not open the window. But if that were to change, then it will open the window to let the fresh air in. It really is quite an impressive setup. You see there, he has a couple methods to keep the air clean inside his home, one being a bit more complex than the other. But don't worry, there are some other things you can do at home as well. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says you can run an air conditioner, but keep the fresh air intake closed, and you should also avoid activities that increase indoor air pollution, like burning candles, fireplaces, or gas stoves. Lee?